Hey guys, how's it going? Crepain here. Today I want to just give you guys a short highlight of one of the most amazing games I've played lately that has to do with, you know, kind of establishing where you are in the game and making the only choices that might, maybe, lead to a way out. And uh, some of these games I feel are just the most epic ones you can play because the decision making is so crazy, so intense, and so radical that you almost can't even believe that you have to make the plays that you end up making. So hope you guys learned something from the clip. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's the mage, no less. Uh, fine. I just really need a weapon to beat a mage going second. Turn one zombie chow. Guess this game over, boys. I'm serious, too. I'm playing a pretty aggressive deck here. Completely getting obliterated in the early game as an aggressive deck in a bad matchup. My chance to win went from like 45% to like 20 from that play. Yeah. Okay. If I can get him to ping on three, that's pretty decent, so I guess we'll try it. If he pings here, then the 4-4 four four is going to crush his other minion. Okay. <sighs> Deck's primary flaw is lack of demolisher. Seems legit. Oh, that's a good one. Thousand bits. Someone said, "Mimi." Okay. Mimi. Oh, that worked out nicely. Afraid that if I play the trog, it's very likely to get flame strike. If he has a board clear, it can't win. That's the beauty about going first with mage. If you go first, you automatically win the early game. And if you have a board clear, your opponent can't win the late game either. Polybor, 5 mana, 10-10. Ten, ten. Well, now it's basically a 2 mana, 4-2. There must be a way. Right, right. Okay. It's going to turn into a gain 2 mana for a card. So my 5 mana 10-10 ten, ten became an innervate, which is not very useful because I have no cards left soon enough. Drink with me. Yeah, uh, I played it for 5, he polyed for 3, but then he pings it twice, so he lost 2 mana, and it was 1 card for 1 card. So. Absolute. It's kind of like game over there. Oh, 
that helps a lot. The battle. The battle. Why? I can try to smork him and it gives me a chance to win here. It's not a great chance, but it is a chance. If he can't remove the bog creeper. It's a pretty big if, but hmm. what you want. Oh, he can remove the bog creeper. Quite the answer, actually. Are you ready for this? Mm, more big minions. The battle! The battle! Death from the shadow! Ah, I think it's the only real chance I have to threaten enough damage that he has to trade into me. That can't be right. Trading is just... It, it, my entire hand trades for his board, which means I'm three cards behind on a mage, which just means I don't win. Just really that simple. And in this spot, if he slips up and I get four damage, which I have three different ways of doing, I can just kill him. Okay. Let's go. I think that's just lost now. But see, I set up for it. Oh, I guess True Silver would have done it, but Kings and Kraken was lethal in this spot. Uh, instead I just lose. Yeah. Should I? Yeah, I just lose. I'm thinking of going face again. The light compels. Reporting for duty. Presto, presto! The battle! The battle! Burn! Yeah, he doesn't have lethal. Oh, and I just gained lethal with true silver now. And Kraken or true silver lethal, and I doubt he's gonna sink 8 damage into a 1 1. So I'll probably have King's lethal as well. Oh, sank 8 damage into a 1 1. Give me another turn, but um, looks like only Kraken is gonna work. Yeah, only Kraken works here. I won that game. I fucking won that game. <laughs>